folks and welcome back uh, to our TM4 drivetrain project. So when we last looked at this on video, uh, we had just managed to crack the CAN messages needed to uh, initialize the inverter and get it to start issuing a torque command. So since then, um, I've been doing quite a bit of work with this particular project and we're now in a condition where I have a little Arduino board uh, made up with some basic IOs on it just in a prototype format so that we can take a throttle signal and uh, convert that into the necessary CAN message uh, to send to the inverter uh, so that we can basically command torque depending on throttle pedal travel type thing also got a few digital inputs there so we can have a neutral drive reverse uh, selection uh, so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we have going on here and then uh, we will basically do a little demonstration All right, so we're back here uh, with our two laptops. Uh, this one here is where I've been writing the Arduino program uh, to send uh, to this Arduino here, which you can see is quite a mess at the minute. So what this is doing um, is it has a CAN transceiver on board, and then I've rigged up some components here. Um, and I have a BMW E90 um, Hall Effect throttle pedal. Uh, so we're taking one of the sensors from that, feeding it to an analog in on the Arduino, and using that then to create a CAN message uh, that we send through this wire here, which is the CAN bus, uh, into our inverter and ultimately spin the motor. Uh, I've also got just a little center off switch here um, so that I can basically command neutral, drive or reverse. Uh, I have another Arduino with a shield on it here and what that is doing is that's connected to the second laptop <coughs> and we have the Savican program running on that uh, which is just for logging uh, frames. So. Down here then, under the bench, we have my roughly 310 volt uh, battery and I have my heater element uh, there as a safety device. Now what I've done is I've put a little fuse holder here in parallel with that so I can put a little 16 amp fuse in there uh, just so we can run a little bit more juice into the system here uh, so we can actually spin it. Um, so I was doing some spins earlier and had to put some oil into the gearbox and because I don't have the half shafts to go in here uh, the oil tends to want to come back out particularly when we get up to higher RPMs in reverse so won't be able to do much reverse uh, or I don't want to go too high on the revs because the spider gears start to bang around inside the case here so really don't want uh, something bad to happen there so okay i'm going to get um i'm going to get the power on and we will uh take this thing for a spin stay with us the first thing we're going to do is turn on the 12 volts to the inverter that's now got uh 12 volt power going in that's on the permanent uh 12 volt speed to the inverter so I'm going to confirm, got my fuse out here on the heater element, and I'm going to go ahead now and connect the positive to the uh, inverter here in my somewhat janky setup. And uh, get that on there. Got 312 volts DC on there. So I'm taking my 16 amp fuse now, pop that in there. So now we have the ability to draw, you know, pretty solid current. Uh, from our battery. I'm going to connect the enable line 12 volts. Hear the inverter power up and we start sending we're receiving CAN messages uh, from the inverter. And now I'm going to confirm my switch is in neutral and connect my little controller. Okay so right now 
we're in neutral, so we're commanding zero torque. Uh, so I can select drive. If I just ease on the throttle. Stop. We select reverse, which is the pump out the oil. And we want in reverse. Well, oh, there goes the oil. Oh, look at that. That's oil pump gear. So I won't be doing too much reversing for you guys. All right, so I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer, so you'll be able to see it in a bit more detail. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Alrighty, so I put a little piece of tape in here so you guys can see what's going on. So let's go into drive. I'll bring on some throttle. faster than that. You can hear the spider gear is banging in there. You've got nice progressive throttle control there. So as you can see there, we're just coasting to a stop right now with a zero torque command. There's a reason for that because it looks like doing regen with this thing is going to be a little bit tricky from a software point of view. But anyway, let's do a quick run in reverse just to show you guys we are running in reverse. Stop there, I think. Let's actually drive forward now just to try to pull some of that back in. Control. And I'm going to stop there. So, as I hope you guys have been able to see there, we have the basis of a little controller uh, for our TM4 drive system. Now, things to rem remember here is that there is no safety in this thing whatsoever at the minute. It's just a bench test rig. So there's no brake input, there's no checking the throttle signal is valid, all those kind of things. And you could, with the way I got the software written at the minute, you could floor the throttle in neutral, flick the switch into to drive, and go from 0 to 150 newton meters every the next time the CAN message recycled, which is on a 10 millisecond timer. Uh, so that would not be good at all. Um, so we've got quite a bit to do on that, but the good news is, as you, as you can see, we are actually spinning now with throttle control. So, yeah, a lot of... Um, lot of nights in bed with the laptop and a notepad because I'm not you know particularly
good with um, you know uh, working out I'm not a software guy um, so I kind of have to go really slow at things and write them out longhand and convert stuff to binary and hex and back to decimal and vice versa and you know figure out byte orders and stuff like that but it's fun I'm you know it's been a new it's been breaking new ground for me this particular project and uh, it's a good thing we have another project where we're going to need more can messages and stuff like that coming up soon so yeah this is this is actually the first time that I've ever ran a can controlled inverter as well so quite a bit of an achievement there yay me so okay guys uh, that's enough self congratulation on my side um, thanks a lot for tuning in thanks for all the support uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and uh, we will see you all in the next video happy motoring um, electric you know that kind of motoring